Okay, we're standing here on the lawn once again. It's uh, the 19th of October, uh, Monday, and it's been, phew, it's nearly two weeks since the accident, but so far we've had the boat fully repaired. We've been back out over to Speed Spot and done a, another shakedown run, and we've made sure that all the settings on the boat are as they should be, hopefully as they were before we had the accident. The boat sailed beautifully down the course just before we had the small uh, structural failure that led to the flip. It was a combination of a small wave, but the ultimate uh, part of the boat that failed was the top of the foil, and that when we dug it all apart, when we did the repair, we found that there were some issues with the build of the top of the foil that led to the problem. It's kind of annoying because it's not the concept of the boat, it's more to do with uh, just a standard build problem that couldn't be discovered until we went at, well, full speed really. We're hoping it's the last weak link in the chain. If it had happened a little bit slower, we would have been okay. If it had happened at a higher speed, we might have got away with it. But it happened right at that critical speed, just over 50 knots, just with a slight bit of our foil, uh, you know, coming out into the air, and it broke. We've got 10 days to go now. It's getting pretty tight. I can hear the clock ticking. We've got these north winds, which aren't nice. Uh, we had days that were forecast to be ideal for us that didn't materialize. We only need one or two good days to finish this. I'm pretty sure that the competition in France are sitting there and not giving up their, uh, not parking their boat until they see what we can come out with. I'm pretty sure we can beat their current speed. I'm confident of that. I'm not going to focus too much on their current speed. I'm going to focus on what this boat can do. We're coming from a very safe aspect, putting water ballast in the nose. This boat does not have a problem with power. It's all about control. If we can keep that nose down, then I'm pretty sure we can do some pretty impressive numbers here. I don't want to go away without this boat uh, showing what it can do. We feel so close. There's getting an air of fragility around the base here because we're so close to getting what we want, but it could also disappear in a cloud of spray. So, uh, well, it's a game of standing by now. All the teams here, everyone's ready. Uh, we watch every little change in the weather and we're ready to react at a moment's notice. Uh, 10 days left, let's see what happens.